is good everybody welcome to another epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen today we are going to be creating we're going to be creating one of the biggest superstars to come into mdt's developmental brand guys i'm going to reveal to you one of the biggest signees here today and we're going to construct him not fully we're not going to fully construct him because i don't have everything fleshed out just yet but we are going to build him up today you guys can see we still have the surgery stuff in the background from yesterday's surgery video if you guys missed that definitely go check that out definitely going to be an epic day of surgery if you guys missed it definitely want to go get in on that but here today guys we are going to be creating the uh the, i know people are going to be talking about you know the developmental like one day it'll be here and i'm going to tell you guys maybe maybe i won't do de developmental you know maybe these people will just be appear on the main roster they'll just appear on mdt live or vindication or whenever the hell by the way hell's gate is on its way just stay patient brad just stay patient it'll be worth the wait i know it's been forever I had to deal with a lot of things you know but here today guys we are going to construct the one and only Flip Fokker. Yes, that's his name. His name is Flip Fokker. Stands about 5'10", 5'9", 5'10", a buck 80. And I'm going to show you guys how you guys can create your own Flip Fokker. One thing that will not be completed is his head sculpt. Now, I'm still working on this. This is the hair piece that I'm going to be using. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, it kind of sucks, but we have to put all these figures together in order to create Flip Fokker. Now, Flip Fokker, he's a badass dude. If I can, I'll plug some images of the man. You guys can see his gear and everything, and uh, he, he, he looks like a boss. So, Flip Fokker will be a, a, you know, one of the developmental talents. Not the only developmental talent, but he will be one of the younger guys coming up on the roster one day. And I did want to plug him in here today and show you guys how you can create your own. It does kind of suck that you do have to use a bunch of figures. Now, if you don't want to use these figures, you can use your own, but I'm still working on the head sculpt. So, uh, one thing I do want to point out is that he has braids, or he has cornrows slash dreadlocks, and so the only hairpiece that I really could use is this Jeff Hardy Survivor Series hairpiece. I'm going to try my best to to find a different hair piece but today i'm going to use all of these parts right here and construct him for you guys and just kind of show you guys how to make him if you wanted to make him yourself now let's go ahead and get into it we are going to combine all these figures together and again we're not going to complete them today because uh that requires a bunch of painting and you know i still haven't quite figured out the head sculpt but i did want to put it out there to you guys and show you guys how you can make your own and maybe you guys can help me out with a head sculpt so it's like jeff hardy or, you know or, or raya faber he has like his hair braided or matt riddle so he's a white dude that has his hair braided and so what we're going to do is we're going to combine all of these figures together and create this man straight from scratch. So what we have here, guys, this is the main base, is we're going to be using this Buddy Murphy figure. Now, this is not what I wanted to use, honestly, but it's the only really figure that has the ripped up torso and it has this specific crotch piece. Now, later on in the, uh, you know, down the line when we update our Flip Fokker, when I get the decals in here, when I get, uh, you know, the painting done and everything, we are going to be painting this crotch piece in a blue color because he has blue tights. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to remove these legs because they are on ball joints. We're going to remove these legs, we're going to remove these arms, and we are going to remove this head sculpt, and then we will proceed with what else we're going to do. So the first thing you want to do is remove these arms, remove this head, and remove these legs from this Buddy Murphy Elite figure. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video because we are going to reveal the finishing moves of Flip Fokker. F-L-I-P. I can't remember, I, I, I can't decide if I want it to be F-O-C-K-E-R or F-A-U-K-E-R. Let me know down below. Do you guys like like Fokker, like F-O-C-K or F-A-U-K. Let me know. But right here, we're going to remove the arms, head sculpt, and legs of this Buddy Murphy before we continue on with what we want to do. All right, guys, this should be long enough for these arms and this head sculpt, hopefully. So there's one arm of Buddy Murph. There's the other, and then we got to get the head sculpt off of there. Boom, bye, yow. Got that. Now the only thing left to do is to pop these legs off, and I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust that, Brad. I don't want to F that up, so we're going to go ahead and remove these as well. All right, guys, here we go. We should be able to remove this with ease. There's the one ball joint. There is the other ball joint. Got that. So now we have Buddy Murphy legs for no reason. Going to throw these over here with the Buddy Murphy fodder. All right, so here is our base for our Flip Fokker figure. Now, one thing that Flip Fokker does have is he has an F squared chesticle tattoo. So right here, he will have like an F with a little squared symbol for Flip Fokker, like F squared, like F twice. You know what I'm saying? 
F times F. So there we go. Now what we're going to do, so it's kind of like thinking outside the box a little bit here today, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the rest of this. We are going to be, uh, we don't have the head sculpt, so I guess we can move on to the arms. Now the arms that I wanted to use for this, we are going to be using the right arm of this Matt Hardy figure. So I do want him to have like the, you know, the longer wrist tape for this arm. So we are going to be using the right arm of this and then the left arm of this uh, Jeff Hardy, which is the Elite 60. 67 chase variant figure so we are going to heat that up so the this is going to be our right and left arm right here because i don't know if you guys saw in the photograph we did have a blue sleeve on his left arm and then the regular wrist tape on the right arm all right guys let's see if that was long enough again we do need the left arm of this hardy and you're probably wondering what kind of hand you're going to use and i am going to be using a taped up hand so the uh, not quite like this though it'll be like fingered tape uh, kind of like triple H God in heaven that did not come off like I thought it would Jesus Christ let's see if this will go on here all right, guys, so this is what we're looking at right now. Obviously, he still has the red trunks, but you know what? That's okay, Brad. We're not gonna we're not gonna lose our, our titties on that one. You know what I'm saying? So we are done with Matt and Jeff Hardy. We can kind of just sit them off to the side for now, along with our uh, buddy Murphy fodder over there. So yeah, a lot of figure parts required for this, but I really do want to make this guy. Uh, the idea has been in my head for a really, really long time, so I do want to make this. I am gonna grab this hand, though, because I do want to plug the hand in that I want in there so you guys can see exactly what I want. So this is exactly what we want right here, guys you want the tape finger look over here and then you want the hand tape over there so this is looking perfect so far the next order of business is going to be to get these grand metallic ball joint legs on here because he's a shorter guy you know and these are on ball joints so we are going to put these grand metallic legs over onto the buddy murphy body but we do need the lower legs as well removed because we need to put these aj styles lower legs on there so uh, we do need to do that as well All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and remove the AJ Styles lower legs because uh, we are going to need those. So we are going to go ahead and get those off. And I really honestly should go ahead and remove the kick pads because uh, those are going to be a whore bag and I am not going to be using those. So we are going to get rid of the AJ Styles right now. So get rid of the AJ Styles and then we are going to, I guess, pop this off. Christ, that sucks. Okay. Gonna take the Grand Metal League, pop that off, pop that off, get that guy over there, and then I don't think his lower legs were heated up enough. Christ on a bicycle. All right. All right, what we're gonna do is heat up both lower legs at the same time. And I guess while we're doing that, we might as well heat up the Kenny and these kick pads. See if we can get it all together because we do need the knee pads off this Kenny Omega right here. I guess I could've used those lower legs, but it's, it's too late now, Bradley. It's too late now. So what we're gonna do is heat up all of this at once and try our freaking best not to F it all up. If we got all this, Brad, I would lose it. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to see if we can get this going. Oh, my God in heaven, that is hot as hell. Okay, uh... Got to remove these lower legs right here from the Grand Metal League. Get that off of there. And then go ahead and just add this to here just because just it's on. Just go ahead and get it on there. You want to go ahead and pop this off here. Jesus Christ, that is freaking hot. Okay, got that on there. And then the lower legs to the AJ Styles. Dude, this is the worst part of part switching right here. These freaking lower legs, dude, they're god awful. Got that one. Thank Christ. That is the right one. So we're going to try our best to get this on here. Not going to hold my breath, damn it. All right, well, we got it on there. It was just horrific. Ah! God, that was terrible. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay, we got both the lower legs on there, so that's, that's freaking terrific. Now we just got to get these kick pads off and then slide the damned knee pads off. Ah! Got one. Can we complete the frickin' quadruple bypass surgery in this hoe? That would be nutty. That would be absolutely nutty. Jesus Christ, can we... Why won't this knee pad go over this damned lower leg? It's not even that thick, Brad. Ugh. I got that on there now, just this side. Ugh. 
Got you, whore bag. All right, now I gotta slide this knee pad off right here. Slide this knee pad off right here. Get that, get, get out of my mouth, ho. Go over here, plop this over here, and then right here, the trifecta, can we do it? Or is it the quadruple feed? Is that a quad feed right there? Bam, is that completed? And behold, ladies and gentlemen, the base of the first single star. We have the Founding Fathers already in MDT Developmental. The first single star in L MBT Developmental is Flip Fucker right here. Again, we do have to paint the kick pads up. We gotta paint some blue and black details on here. We have to remove these logos from the kick pads from the pants, and we do have to paint the crotch blue where it is red. But ultimately, it looks badassery. He looks like an assassin already. So I'm I'm hyped, man. I, I really like this. Uh, can we compare the height to anything over here? I have my random Elite 75 Seth Rollins over here. So yes, he is going to stand perfect height, it looks like. Um, maybe a little bit taller than I envisioned, but it's still pretty perfect. I, I, like the, I like the formula we got going right there. I think it works out okay. Now the only thing we have to do is get a head sculpt made. Now again, I am going to use this J. Jeff Hardy hair, so he will have dreadlocks right there, and that's going to be perfect. I'm going to love that. So there it is, guys. Flip Fokker. Flip Fokker is, is built. Now we just have to paint him and get him ready to go. But if you guys are wondering what his finishing moves are, he has two finishing moves. He has the fucking flip, because he's going to be an athletic mofo. You can just tell by the way he's dressed. He's He has the fucking flip. You guys can see that in action maybe one day. And then his second finisher is the fuck you. So there you go. The fuck you and the fucking flip. Flip Fokker. Welcome to MDT Developmental, even though you don't even have a face yet. But my plan for this guy is to create him and then let you guys create him and then put him in your own pick feds and stuff like that. Sort of like John Trademar back in the day with a bunch of other feds. So that's my vision, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy Flip Fokker and the building of Flip Fokker and putting all those random figures together to create this man. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I can't wait to finish Flip Fokker. Fucker. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.